All right, so there's been a lot of questions about how re-ranking happens, and I want to show here that it's not uh, uh, based on commission discretion, that it's all mathematical, it's all based on a, on a predefined procedure and process, and it really all depends on how well you played in the given week and how many total points you have. So you can see right here, here's the leaderboard as it, as it was when we ended uh, play on December the uh, 13th. So I'm going to make the new leaderboard uh, following play on December the 20th. So uh, the first thing I do before I re-rank is I always hide the cells uh, that I don't want to see because they'll confuse me. Uh, I need to see uh, the player's rank, but I don't need to see uh, some of these other columns. Before I do that, I need to make the current week's rank become the previous week's rank. So that's pretty easy. I just copy uh, copy that rank and put it in the last week's rank and do a paste special values and <clears throat> then this movement column will automatically go to zero because current week and last week are temporarily the same. Uh, so now I don't need to see last week's rank. I don't need to see uh, any of the movements. So I'm going to hide those. <clears throat> I'm going to hide uh, uh, the rank points, the one loss records, and everything up to except the current week because all that matters in re-ranking is how you did in the given week pink is a loss green is a win and your total points so we start with the uh, with with the number one person that's Anders Anders lost so we're gonna cut his cell and he can move down uh, anybody who wins can move up a total of three spots on their turn for re-ranking or down a total of three spots when it's their turn for ranking so Anders lost so he's gonna move down one down two he's gonna hit Mark Worth who also lost but Anders has got fewer points than Mark, so he's going to move just below Mark, and he's going to be done. He's going to be done for the for the week. So then we go to the number two from last week, Charlie Schneider. Charlie won. He's already in the top spot, so he goes nowhere. Kevin's uh, the number three guy. He's uh, he's in number two. He's got slightly fewer points by four tenths of a point, fewer than than uh, Charlie, so he can't move above him. So Kevin's done. Number four, we go to Mark Worth. Mark Worth lost but he can't move down because he has more points than Anders, so he's done for the, for the week. Uh, Mark Alexander didn't play. Anybody who didn't play, we skip them. They don't do, we don't do anything with them that week, um, but they can move up or down relative to the guys around them because guys may move above them or below them. So we go to number six, Terry Davidson. Terry lost, so he's going to move down. He moves down below Mark Griffey because Mark won. He moves below Mandy because she won. He hits Randy Miller, and... Terry's got more points than Randy, so he's going to slot in right above Randy, and he's done. So we go to number seven, Mark Griffey. Mark Griffey won, so he's going to move up. He's going to jump Mark Alexander. He's going to jump Anders. He's going to jump Mark Worth, and he's done. Now, Mark could have continued to move up if we didn't have the throttling factor of the three movement points per week. Uh, and that, that's a good thing, because if not, then a guy with a lot of points could move from the, you know, the very lowest parts of the, of the leaderboard all the way to the top. So we'll go to number seven, Mandy. Mandy won, so we're going to move her up one, two, three, right above Mark Worth, and she's done. So we go to number nine, Randy Miller. Randy lost, so he's going to move down, but he, but immediately he runs into Harry Harner, who has fewer points than Randy, who also lost. So there's really no place for Randy to move. He's going to stay right there. We'll go to Harry. Harry lost, so he is going. We're going to. Uh, move his row. So he starts to move down. He runs into Rick Henson, who didn't play. Harry's got more points than Rick, so Harry's going to stay right where he is. Uh, Rick didn't play, so we skip him. We go to Ralph. Ralph won, so he's going to move up one, two, three, right above Randy and Harry. So even though Randy and Harry didn't move at all when it was their turn, they moved down a relative negative one because Ralph jumped them on his turn. Uh, we go to 13, Mark Brandon. He didn't play. We go to Jim Wad. He wants you. He's going to move up one, two, three. So Harry's going to move another relative uh, negative one, uh, but not Randy because Jim was was throttled by the three movement points. Bill Brubaker. He lost, so he's going to start to move down. Uh, he's going to move below Nathan Ben, who won. He's going to run into David Bowman, who has zero points, and Brubaker's going to slot in right above Bowman. Uh, so we go to Nathan Ben, number 16. Uh, Nathan won, so he's going to move up above Brandon, above Henson and above Harner. So Harner's continuing to move down, but he should be done by now. Uh, Dave Bowman didn't play, Doug Hicks didn't play, we skip him. Ed Childs played, he lost. So he's going to move down uh, below Minoj. He's going to bump into Kurt Bombian. He's got more points than Kurt, so he's going to uh, slot in right above Kurt. Now here's a good example. Minoj has got 44 points. He won. We're going to move him up one, two, three, uh, right above Bill Brubaker. 
Now, if we didn't have this throttling, my nose would continue to ride all the way up and then run into Mark Griffey. But because of the, the plus or minus three every week, that throttling mechanism seems to work. It doesn't get guys out of uh, their competitive level <clears throat> real easily. So Minoja's number 20. So we go to number 21, Kurt Bombier. He lost, so Kurt is now going to move down. Uh, he's going to run into Steve Gale. Steve didn't play. Kurt's got more points than Steve, so he's going to pop in right above Steve. Uh, we go to number 22, Tom McQueen. Tom wants. He's going to move up one, two, three, right above Dave Bowman. Uh, 23, Steve Gale didn't play. Keith Moss played and won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three, right above Ed Childs. 25, Gary Usher. Gary lost, so he would move down, but as soon as he starts to move down, he runs into to, uh, Scott Rowe, who has fewer points, <coughs> so uh, Gary uh, stops moving right there. Uh, Scott and Kent Wiggs didn't play. Mark Miller played and lost, so we're going to move him down. Uh, he's going to drop below Joe Guy, who who uh, won. He's going to drop below uh, Greg Dov and Jeff Sessa, who won, and plug him in there. 29, Joe Guy. Joe Guy won, so he's going to start moving up. One, two, three, and go right above Gary Usher. Go to 30, Greg Dov. He lost, so he's going to move down. Uh, move down one. Uh, he's going to run into Mark Miller. He's got more points than Mark Miller, so he'll go in right above him. Uh, 31, Jeff Sesson. Jeff won. So he's going to move up one, two, three, and move him right above Gary Usher. So 32, Mario. Uh, Mario uh, lost, but he's got 19 points compared to Jody Branham's 18 points, so there's nowhere for Mario, for Mario to move down, so he holds firm. Uh, Jody lost. So, so he moves down. Uh, <coughs> Jody's going to uh, go below Alan Ramsey. He's going to run into Boyd Despard. Jody's got more points than Boyd, who didn't play. So Jody's going to slam right in there. Alan Ramsey, who won, is going to move up. One, two, three. He's going to move right above Greg Dov. And be done. You go to 35. Boyd didn't play. John Merritt played. Uh, and one, so he's going to move up one, two, three, right above Mario, and be done. So 37, Jerry Holman played and lost, so he's going to move down one, two, uh, three. He's going to move below Michael Rousseau, even though Michael didn't play. Uh, Jerry's got fewer points, so he is going to slot him right below uh, Michael. 38, Joel Kate, Joel won, so he's going to move up one, two, three, right above Mario. And 39, uh, H. Sprinkle won. So he's going to move up one, two, three, right above Mario. So that's how Mario dropped four. Four guys uh, rode above him uh, on when it was their turn to move, even though Mario didn't move at all on his turn to move. Uh, so let's see, that was 39. So now we go to 40. Michael Rousseau didn't play. Jerry, uh, 41. Larry Picone played and lost. So he's going to move down. Um, not at all, because uh, the guy immediately below him, uh, Travis Dunn, didn't play. Uh, so we'll go to Dave Cordier, who played and won. He's going to move up one, two, three, right above Jerry Holman. Uh, go to 44, didn't play. 45, played and lost. So he's going to move below Doug Goldstein, below Rasmussen, below Lovelace. Pop him in there. 46, Doug Goldstein. Played and lost, so he's going to move below the two guys that... Uh, Blow him that one, but he's going to run into Matt Swope, who uh, Doug has more points than, so he's going to slot in right above uh, Matt. So Dean Rasmussen, number 47, he won, so we're going to move him up one, two, three. He's going to split between Holman and Pecone. Uh, Steve Lovelace won, so we're going to move him up one, two, three. Uh, 49, Rick Moore. Rick Moore lost, so he's going to move down uh, one, two, and right above Mickey Johnson. He's got more points than Mickey. So go to number 50, David Knox. David won. So we're going to move him up one, two, three, right above Scott Dale Burns. 51, Mark Knowles. Mark Knowles uh, lost, but he's got more points than the guy immediately below him, which is uh, Rick Moore at this time. So he'll hold firm. So we go to 52, Mickey Johnson didn't play. Dean Strabino didn't play. Uh, Leo Twist lost, so he's going to move down one, uh, two, three, right here above Andrew Van Blarkham. So 
So 55, Henry can. Henry played and won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three, right above Rick Moore. Uh, 56, Walt Harfman played and lost. So we're going to move him down. One, two, he's going to bump into Leo. He's got more points than Leo, who also lost. Drop him right there. 57, Scott David Burns played in one. So he's going to move up. One, two, three, right above Rick Moore. And 58, Andrew Van Blarkham lost. So he's going to move down. Uh, one, he's going to run into Fran, who has zero points. So he's going to slot in right above Fran. And so go to 59, Mike Dorsal. <clears throat> Mike won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three, right above Dean Strabino. Uh, 60, Fran didn't play. 61, Randy Stiles played. So we're going to move him down. One, two, three. 62, Mark Selleck won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three. 63, Christian Swope won, so we're going to move him up. One, two, three. Uh, 64, Bill Goss, Bill won, so he'll move up, one, two, three, right above Leo Twist. Uh, 65, Nate Ben, <clears throat> Nate lost, he's got more points than the guy immediately below him, Pradeep, so he's going to hold firm, 66, Pradeep didn't play, Kevin Schrader played, but he's got more points than the guy immediately below him, Mark Litzerman. Uh, 69, Don Bell, Don won, so he's going to move up, one, two, three. 70, uh, Mark Wenzel has got more points than Aaron, so he's going to hold firm. Jerry Stallings won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three. Uh, 73, didn't play. 74 played and lost, but he's got more points than the guy immediately below him, so he'll hold. Matt Howells, um, 76, played, lost, but he's got more points than Manoj Puri. Uh, Greg Massey played and won, so he's going to move up. One, two, three, right above Ken Kluge. So that's how you re-rank. So that was just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, let me unhide these cells up here. So now we can see what's what's going on. And so now we have the top guy who is in position one. Uh, next guy is in position uh, do a little Excel equation there and fill that down to the bottom. So now we have our new weekly position. So this is where they were last week. So you can see the overall movement is automatically uh, calculated as well as the uh, conditional formatting. And you can see the overall movement. Uh, Mark Griffey's moved over all 12, Minoj 13, uh, Dave Cordier 11, Dave Knox 12, Mike Dorsal 12. Those are the big movers on the season. And it, and it just shows you that the system works. The, the, the groupings are still uh, relatively accurate. But if you play and you get a lot of points, you move a lot. I do want to point out H Sprinkle down here. H has played every week. Uh, where is he? Where are you, H? So here's H. He's played, he's played every week. Uh, he's got the third highest points, but he even lost one week. He lost the first week, but he's still got the third highest points of anybody on the board. So that's how you do re-ranking. Um, check it out. So play. Uh, play your makeup matches, play your challenge matches, you'll get a lot of points and you'll move up the board. If you don't understand it, watch it again.